Hi, this is Joe with Finale Inventory, and today we are going to be discussing the process of bulk importing product ID changes. So as we look in the Finale application, uh, you can see that there are four products in my view here at the moment. These are the four products for which I will be looking to update the product ID as it currently exists within Finale here. And to do so, uh, all you would need to do is create a simple spreadsheet uh, leveraging either existing uh, spreadsheets that you have or by creating a, a new simple one, it's entirely up to you. Our bulk import tool is flexible in that way. So essentially all you would need to do to execute this operation is have two columns though, one for the current or old product ID and one for the new product ID in which you intend to change the old or current product ID to. So we can navigate back to Finale and to get to the proper import screen, you can either go to the import button here and select import products from spreadsheets, or you can leverage our global header and go to import products. Either way, this will take you to the same screen here. And by selecting the data in your spreadsheet, and going back to Finale and clicking in the paste here box and pasting it. Data will be accepted by Finale and summarized up top. Uh, you will be prompted to assign any columns down below uh, that maybe were not named in the same manner in which they are supported within Finale. So here for the old product ID, simply have to select the product ID since that is the current product ID within Finale. And this was named uh, the same in my spreadsheet as it is supported within Finale, so it mapped it automatically. But if it did not, you can simply select the new product ID column here and you are done. So as you see up top, we're going to be importing updating existing products. There are four products in my spreadsheet, four products up here, and it just recognizes the header line as well here. Go to next and click commit and you are done. And when you hit the next button, you can uh, be reverted back to the product screen. As you can see, the ID changes that I had just imported are already being reflected in this column here. It is also will be reflected in the stock screen here as well. So that is the process for bulk importing product IDs. For other helpful videos, feel free to navigate our how-to video gallery or reach out to us directly at service at finaleinventory.com.